crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. The famous ghost forest at Washington's coast. These trees have been dead for more than 300 years, and yet many still stand. What killed them? A 700 mile long fault, the Cascadia subduction zone, lies 55 miles that way, offshore, underwater. It's not that far away. A magnitude nine earthquake, a great earthquake, ruptured on that fault and shook the Pacific Northwest coastline from Vancouver Island in Canada, clear down to Cape Mendocino in Northern California. This great earthquake struck on Friday, January 26, 1700 at nine o'clock at night. Native American stories are all we have from that terrible night. And yet there are clues out here, geologic clues, if you know where to dig. <laughs> you like mud? You ought to come to the ghost forest. There's no shortage of mud. It's a tidal marsh. The tides bring in mud, they deposit it in this quiet area. It takes a pretty clever geologist, I'm not the clever one, to dig here and find something that's not mud. But in this hole, I've gotten down deep enough to find a clean four inch layer of fine grained sand. Now what is that sand doing here? It's a tsunami deposit a series of waves from the great earthquake generating a tsunami and sweeping in here on that winter night in 1700. This is famous tsunami sand because the geologist who discovered it back in the 1980s, Brian Atwater, traced these deposits through tidal wetlands along a 700 mile stretch of the Pacific Northwest coast. But to find the year of the great earthquake, Atwater looked to the ghost forest itself, and he needed the help of a dendrochronologist, a tree ring expert, Seattle scientist David Yamaguchi. Once we had the ring dates for the, of these trunk samples, um, because we're missing outer wood here, we next went after the uh, roots of the same trees and uh, matched these rings against the rings of the trunk, and these outermost ring dates uh, turned out to be 1699, uh, which was perfect because in January of 1700, uh, historical waves were recorded as hitting the 600 miles of Japanese coastline. And then the following summer uh, of 1700, these trees were already dead. The earthquake killed these trees, but it wasn't from the ground shaking. It was from the ground suddenly dropping six feet and these trees were killed because their roots of the western red cedar were plunged into salt water. Death by salt water poisoning. Until Atwater's discovery, ghost forests held secrets of the world's largest earthquakes. The work of Atwater and Yamaguchi completely rewrote our understanding of earthquake risk here in the Pacific Northwest and eventually, the world.